Good morning, folks. We're still watching Proba 2 Swap as SDO images come back online and get backfilled. Today, we're going to hit space weather, pre-earthquake signals, cosmology, and more on the galactic current sheet. But we're starting with our star. Still no significant flares, no CMEs fired at Earth, but the sun is firing. Turn off the lights to see the active regions. More incoming from the limb. Geomagnetism is still quiet due to the continued drop in solar wind speed, the purple line. But as we mentioned, we expect it to re-intensify in the coming days as the central coronal hole pushes stronger solar wind through the heliosphere. The eruptions have taken place on the south, filament eruptions producing CMEs that are not aimed at our planet. Hopefully, it stays that way. Let's go to seismicity, where geomagnetic anomalies not only preceded the main shock of this one, but the foreshocks and aftershocks as well. This is one of the fastest growing subfields of geophysics and there are hundreds of other confirmations and dozens of other types of signals outside geomagnetism. Find them all, by the way, in Chapter 7 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Hopefully you recall our video from late July, Betrayal of Shadows, our ongoing swipe at cosmology, and one of the more recent dings to the paradigm, the lack of dark matter in dwarf galaxies, takes another step onward today. This one, and most like it, favor modified gravity or modified Newtonian dynamics, but perhaps a better option is the underappreciated electric and magnetic forces at work in galaxies and galaxy clusters. We call that plasma cosmology. Last night, we posted a second video. It was on the energetic neutral atoms and interstellar pickup ions, tying them necessarily to the oncoming galactic current sheet. And today, we've got a macro look at a key feature of this sheet in galaxies. In a recent presentation on NGC 891, they spotted what they always spot when looking at galaxies in this way. The breakout fields up and down coming from the Parker instability, the current sheet itself. Perhaps science buffs remember Sophia took all doubt away from this paradigm with its ability to see those breakouts and indeed its basic Parker instability physics that the rippling effect produces not only that corrugated sheet through the plane, but as it grows the fields can shoot out north and south off the peaks and troughs in the wave. There are so many, because while the fields run through the spiral arms, they also wave between them. A galaxy may only have two, three, or four arms, but its magnetic arms, the wave, undulate hundreds to thousands of times within the galactic midplane. The breakouts north and south connect to the overall larger scale galactic magnetic field, and in every spiral galaxy they've studied, they've held those truths to be self-evident. Our Milky Way is no different, and as we mentioned last night, there's no place left to hide in our solar system from the evidence that the sheet is here at our neighborhood now. As always, learn everything about the sheet and what it means for us with the playlists or books linked below the video, whatever your preferred learning style. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.